What is your role as an observer for the challenging of the recon Today process? Today I'm the lead for the Prosser campaign for here for the Coppenberg campaign. It's okay. We'll, uh, like, oh. we'll, we'll edit it, don't yeah. we? <laughs> Coppenberg campaign um, for the Waukesha County recount. Okay, and why did you chose to take on the volunteer role? Simply because we want to observe the recount and make sure that uh, all the votes that people actually voted for one candidate are uh, given to that candidate. Do you suspect then that something weird happened in Waukesha? We have no suspicions. Okay. We're simply here to observe. Okay. So you know, everything went well for the first morning where people still sorting out how this was going to happen and who was going to do what in a timely manner. Um, Can you I move just a bit? You got by the time we get to the 198th municipality, <laughs> we'll be, you know, old hat, old, old hands at how the process works. But it went remarkably smoothly this morning uh, with a few questions here and there. And what kind of questions were asked? Well, there are different tabulators doing different tasks, and they were not all consistent in the way that they were tabulating uh, different, the various things that they were asked to tabulate. And how many municipalities are in Waukesha County? Is it 198? Yeah. yeah. So do you expect um, Waukesha County to meet the deadline of May 9th? That is, I have no observation on that. That all depends on how the process goes. Okay. We've all been told to be prepared for the duration, for however long it takes. And they do have a stipulated time limit, and after that, they, the clerk's office has to ask for an extension if they can't get it done in that time. So um, you all are planning on being here every day then? We will have observers here every day okay. to the limit that we're allowed by the, uh, the recount officials. Okay. Ma'am, if I could ask, uh, Tony Galley from ABC News in Madison, um, what have you observed so far about the morning process? It's fine. Um, excellent process. Uh, plenty of people to do all the jobs, the correct number of tabulators, um, the correct oversight board of canvassers. Um, it was just a matter this morning of getting people familiar with what the process is going to be. And uh, that, that took a few extra steps, a few extra minutes, but it was fine. Everything went, went well. You know, as an observer for the Kloppenberg campaign, what are some of the things you're looking for? We are simply here to observe the Board of Canvassers recount. I mean, are you looking for uh, uh, this, the way the, the ballots are being tabulated? Well, are you looking for some we, errors? Obviously, we are here to oversee that any votes that went for Joanne Kloppenberg are given to her in the recount. And this this most recent matter, the, right before the end of lunch, where there's a missing ballot, um, you're taking note of things of that sort and following up? Or? Oh, absolutely. And I suspect that before uh, the judge uh, finalizes anything, we'll, he'll get that resolved. Were you involved in the review of materials in the days after the election here in Waukesha County? And, and is that one of the reasons that you and your colleagues are the, are the people here today because you have maybe most a little more familiarity? Are, most of us are doing this because for one reason or another we have some interest in it. I personally am from Brookfield. It was one of my votes that supposedly was lost and then found again. So I had a personal interest and I spent the Monday following uh, the, re the uh, announcement that Thursday uh, I spent the whole day there at the Brookfield uh, City Hall and went through all the votes and found that everything was in order in terms of the number of people that showed uh, up, got poll tickets, and that's how many votes were cast. Uh, it doesn't say who they were cast for um, because that was all run through the OptiScan, and that's what is the subject of this recount. How do you feel about the way the vote was, the vote reporting? The vote handling uh, took place here in Waukesha County. I, I have no comment about that. Well, thank you. For okay, and you wanted to you wanted to express why you're here. Yep, I'm here because fair elections are the, the most basic part of our democracy. If the citizens don't have fair representation, that's not a democracy. 
And that's why we're all here. It's not about the Kloppenberg campaign or the Prosser campaign. Right. It's about all of us making sure that our votes count. And it actually is all of our responsibility to do so. And I hope that more people come out and join us because that's what this is all about. It's not about a campaign. Why do you have questions as to whether your vote counted as to whether this election was fair? Well, when there were extra votes found the day after the election, that, that the circumstances were murky. And I want answers. I want to know what happened. I want to know why. And uh, I'm here just today. That's a personal thing. That, as not, not a representative of the Klobenberg campaign, as me personally, that's my, my concern. I'm here today representing the Kloppenberg campaign just to observe the process and make sure the process works the way it should for the people. You, you know, Lisa, given the fact that you feel there were murky circumstances involving the, the original vote, do you have confidence that Waukesha County can carry out this all-important recount properly? I have confidence in our system and our recount process, and I know that everyone's working very hard. The GAB has established strict rules that we're supposed to follow, and I believe that everyone will follow those rules, and the recount will be successful. Lisa, listen, thank you so much for your time. Thank